My name is Sarah Connor. These stupid freaking geeks have locked me up in the Nipple Ring building. At Nipple, we're serious about security. Hello, Sarah. Go away. Oh, shit. Back to you, Cock. Welcome back, you worthless idiots. It's me, Chief of Nipple, Tank Cop. I'm so happy that you joined us. This Christmas, Nipple is bringing some of the hardest movies to Nipple TV+. Plus. Just look at these amazing titles behind me. Hang on a second, Sarah. Ouch. Sarah, stop. I can't contain my excitement for you. I wrote the scripts of these all by myself while on a three-day acid trip, so be sure to like and subscribe. Oh, hello, Craig. Hey, have you seen my friend? Yeah, earlier today, but she said she had to go to the Samsung factory. Shit. Where? Let's start with the Fat Man, a nipple original starring aging action superhero Steven Seagal. After being banned from his local Chinese restaurant, an obese man squeezes into a child-sized superhero costume and vows to get revenge. He later suffers life-changing injuries at the hands of Omer, chin too fat. It's really great. In Bacon, Lim Neeson returns to form as a petty thief of the one from the law. He has used his special set of spills to steal some bacon, and he won't be giving it back without a fight. A phenomenal talent. Get out of my way. John! Shit, it's crazy. Stop right now, John Connor. Next on Nipple TV, we have John Wet. John suffers from alopecia and covers it up with an extravagant whip. One night after a fantastically horrifying home invasion, seven shades of shit are kicked out of him, and John's wig is stolen. This movie documents the fight to get his beloved wig back as he murders hundreds of people in his quest. Craig. Oh, hello. No. It's just my iPhone. Looks like a nipple corporation model X. It really is a marvelous tale of struggle. You sure will love it. Next, we have Germs Bond. He's a suave and sophisticated British spy that suffers from a terribly weak immune system. He's tried gluten-free diets and they didn't work, so now he carries a bucket full of cleaning products on every mission. In season one, Germs heads to Eastern Russia, where he gets caught wiping down a particularly dirty countertop. As punishment, watch out, tame cock. Brown bears. It's really interesting. I am so proud of this one. Type Love sees Brad Pitt and Edward Norton come to Nipple TV as sexually frustrated men who steal tights and stockings from department stores. It's really amazing and shines a light on one of the biggest issues in our world today. Sure, we could try installing OS X. Hey, kid, put that disc inside his head. Okay, then, John, let's see what happens. Just Relax, wait for it to install. In Harry Potter, a 12-year-old high school loser accidentally overdoses on his father's propitial balding medicine. He suffers side effects including ferocious weight gain making him walk so slowly people nickname him Plotter. Harry is portrayed by comedy superstar Seth Rogen. It's an amazingly heartwarming tale. Next we have Floris Cha. Tom Hanks plays Peter, and he's an absolute chunk of a man. During the day, Peter is a mild-mannered florist, but in the evening, he's an even milder-mannered simp who just won't get the message he's not wanted by his crush, Helen. Tom Hanks applied method acting in his approach to this movie. Isn't that fantastic? By the way, Tom's recent conviction and imprisonment for six years for stalking a woman in Williamsburg is unrelated to this movie. Next, we have the Fornicator. Arnold Schwarzenegger is back as a time-traveling sex addict. This movie has one of the most extremely graphic sex scenes I have ever seen. We think you're gonna love it. For the lovers of organized crime, we have Woodfellers. It's a seminal piece, no pun intended, of four aging Bensonhurst gangsters who, after overdosing on the Vieira shipment they hijacked, end up with irreversible priapism. In what is arguably Martin Scorsese's finest work, the movie documents the efforts of the four to reverse their now permanent erections. It was definitely a hard pill to swallow. Coming on December 21st is Punk Friction. Tarantino returns with a sequel to his 90s classic but focusing on Vincent and Jules' return from the dead and struggle with rising gas prices. There's a lot of torture and murder. We here at Nipple love it. Next we have The Wolf of Ball Me. A fantastic nipple original starring Leonardo DiCaprio as a businessman 
who has his balls eaten by an angry wolf. It's a simple horror movie with a lot of blood. You are gonna love the part with the wolf. It is gloriously horrific. And finally we have Infection, a sequel to The Wolf of Balmy. Leonardo is back in documenting what happened after the wolf ate his balls. He gets an infection and a $10 million hospital bill. It's really heartwarming to see his struggle. Doubt Miss King Infection this winter on Nipple TV. And that's not all. Let's head over to Craig as he shows you the perfect artificial intelligence we've made just for you. Craig? <laughs>